Good morning and welcome to another episode of Josh and Pat. I'm Joshua Klein, joined by Patrick Cassett live from Athens. And this show is sponsored by our Patreon. If you enjoy the show and want to support, the link is in the description. But last night we got to watch a Frank Reich masterclass of coaching. Mm -hmm. Fourth down, they're far, far away from the goalposts. Frank yards. Reich decides to kick a 59-yard field goal to lose the game. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, is Frank Reich the problem or is Bryce Young the mm -hmm. problem? Because Bryce Young, is statistically, is the worst quarterback right. in the league. So what exactly is going wrong in Carolina, Patrick, and is getting Frank Reich out actually going to solve the problem? Well, and you, and you would think, Josh, that it's, you know, maybe he sends out the 59-yarder, they're trying to lose the game, get a better draft pick, but then you remember... The, that pick belongs to the Bears. So, yeah. so that's a bit of an issue. But when you look at it, I mean, things can't get much worse. There's only one way to go, and that's up, Josh. That's fair. Now, it was a win-win situation for the Bears, like you were saying, because mm -hmm. sure, if the Bears lose... A tie would have been the, the best. Well, if the Bears lose, you think about it, their chances of getting the number one pick increases. Mm -hmm. But if the Bears win, their chance of getting the number one pick also increases. So the Bears were feeling mm -hmm. pretty good 100%. either way, even though Tyson, I don't know. Yeah. He's, has uh, more wins than Justin Fields this year. He does, but I mean, yeah. it's that's a question. I'm not going to talk about that. About we're not going to talk about the quarterback situation in in mm -hmm. Chicago because it's not for us. It's not for us to talk about. Well, I just don't understand, Patrick. And, and I think this might come down to a scheduling thing, why the Thursday night games are so bad. It, right. I mean, it was it was pretty atrocious. But it was a masterclass again from Al Michaels last night, top ten in trending in the United States, and that's what we show. Well, up for. no, but he he went down as the game went on. Mm -hmm. So you think about it. it started out, he started was like maybe he was doing so well, five. people were giving him props for it. Exactly, and then, and then like then people were like, oh, you know, like it's just right. it's Al Michaels. We come to mm -hmm. know and expect. Yeah, I don't really know what like I mean. Both these teams have very unclear futures. I really don't know what happens to Carolina because I, I personally think that Bryce Young, I mean, he just doesn't look like a good quarterback. It looks like he's getting smaller by the day, too, which yeah. is not generally what no. I want my quarterbacks to do. Mm -mm. That's not, no, 100% not. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you do there. I don't know what you do there because clearly you're stuck with him for at least at least another year. And that shot at David Tepper last night, the owner, I mean, he looked like. He, oh, he was not happy. Yeah, he looked like a guy that he knew what was going on. I mean, former richest owner. In the league, and not anymore. So. Not well, not anymore. But maybe, yeah. Even still, you think that they would be able to do something? Turns do out, something. You know, that's cool. money doesn't matter. I guess. Money does not matter. I guess you know that's that's what we're saying here. Um, so hey, hopefully they figure it out. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know who who is getting smaller by the day? And I saw a picture of this guy with holding a football, and it just the football looked larger than mm -hmm. life. Kyler Murray, he's mm -hmm. back, and the Cardinals are going to try to go on an all time run here, You're right? Even though. And I don't want to be the bearer of bad news to Cardinals fans. This week that Kyler is returning mm -hmm. just so happens to be the week that Modern Warfare Three is getting the pre-release. And we're not, we're not, we don't so, want to. So, no, but surely he's between. He hasn't mm -hmm. been playing for he's so long. He's ready up. mentally, right? Because they took it out of the contract too. You got to remember that they took yeah. it out of the contract, so that's not a huge concern anymore. Um, yeah, so I mean, happy Kyler's back. We we expect him to be a couple inches shorter because you know after he gets the ACL surgery, that's what you expect. Or or do you get a little? You don't. They don't stretch you out at all. They probably don't stretch you out. Well, because you you get the limited mobility for the couple months, so you're probably not getting the mm -hmm. I mean, unless he's on that inversion table and he's stretching out the the torso, and that could be that could be true. That, I mean, that could be true. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know what happens with Kyler Murray there. That whole I mean that whole building is a dumpster fire. We heard about what's going on. That's what our sources the, said. The Gannon. Mm -hmm. Dobbs situation, mm -hmm. which was basically saying that Gannon told Dobbs to his face, to his face, we're not trading you. And then he trades him, which, listen, I don't think Dobbs would have cared that he got traded. I mean, he does I'd, argue, like, I'd argue Dobbs wanted to get traded. I Yeah, I'd argue that's the best situation yeah. for Dobbs. I just, I mean, so you could have literally just told him, hey, we're, hey, we're probably going to try to move you. You're on the trading yeah. block. We're not sure, maybe, but. Would love to still have you around if you're still here. I knew that guy was a clown the he whole did. time. I called it, I called I called it day it one. Day one that he was a clown. And then Kyler Murray's now going to come in for, um, for Dobbs, who's been playing well. And if there's any drop-off here, if there's any drop-off, any, it's going to get so loud for Kyler Murray mm -hmm. because he's paid a lot, a of, lot money. of money. 
a lot. I mean, he's played so much money. And then Arguably, they're going to expect him to perform. Well, and it's been good so far for him because you got to remember that he hasn't played, so he can't play bad so far. If you don't play, you can't play bad. What pick do they have right now? A, a pretty high draft pick, I would say. Like May good or no? It's it's May good. It's May good. So okay, so we're feeling we're feeling like there's gonna maybe be change not, around. May, yeah, maybe not Caleb Williams, but Drake May, he might come in that situation. Well, if I ever talks, I've seen mock drafts where it has them switched. Caleb too now. Really? Well, and they probably didn't like him crying after the game, but that's and we're not well, talking about that. We already did. We did well, we actually talked about it on the live, yeah. but don't don't cry at work or work adjacent events. Mm-hmm. Because because he's not getting paid to play he's football. Not. He's getting paid to endorse football. Remember. But but you also mm-hmm. It is an adjacent to the it work. It is an adjacent, one hundred percent. So that's a work adjacent event. So you got to remember, don't cry, don't do it. The fact that he cried to his mom too is like it's a tough. You now everyone says go cry to your mom. Like yeah, he did that? He literally did. And maybe maybe this is a, a point in history where that, that. And maybe he's a little bit more secure than me. I guess uh, there's a yeah. chance. You know that slogan might be changing now in history. He might have changed. He might have made it cool. Made it cool. Yeah. Like like yeah. I, you know I will go cry to my mom. Uh-huh, I will. Yeah. <laughs> I will go cry because that's mom. what real men do. That, well, that's what I've heard. Right. Um, so, dude, that's that's wild. Um, Patrick, this is an interesting story coming out here. Josh McDaniels mm-hmm. traded running back Peyton Hillis mm-hmm. because his wife, Josh McDaniels' wife, had a crush on Peyton. Hillis. Yeah, which is which is unfortunate for Peyton because it's not his fault to to be that good, to be a Madden cover athlete, Josh, mm-hmm. and to possibly be that handsome that the He's- coach's wife. He was on the cover of Madden? He was on the cover of Madden, Peyton Hillis. What year? I think 2011. Really? Yeah. That's wild. So, basically, this was during the Denver Broncos tenure. The era. The That was coaching stop number one. Mm-hmm. Now, if this... He got another job after this. We he have did. To remember that. He did, and that's so he had he had to do something right. There's something good on the tapes there. Well, remember, I mean, him and his boy Tebow, they did beat the Steelers they in did. the playoffs, and so he is a playoff winning coach, head coach. That's true, and that's probably what Mark Davis thought when he got him. Hundred percent, yeah, hundred percent. You're right. And now that I mean, it was makes sense. Mark Davis mm-hmm. was making the right call for the mm-hmm. franchise. It wasn't his. I fault. thought he couldn't see what was coming. No, but to trade somebody because they have a crush on your wife, or at least if you think that. Your they wife, or so your wife has a crush on them. I mean, talk about being insecure, Josh. Well, what did the wife say? That's what I want to know. Or like, did he like? Did she say like? Was oh, it, like he's a like a, he's a handsome guy? Like, or was it like one of those comments like, oh, Peyton, like he's he's cute, dude. What's the age difference? Because this is like, is this like a young kid thing? Like, oh, like look at a young uh, kid. Yeah, like uh, like he's a cute kid, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So Peyton Hillis is, um, thirty seven. He's thirty seven. Right he could maybe still get a couple carries in the NFL. You think? Well, I mean, depends. Yeah. So, Josh McDaniels is, we're talking about 37, 10 year difference. 10 year difference. So, that's. He a, saw it as a threat. 10 years is enough time. That's, really? that's way enough time. Really? Yeah. yeah, 10 years. Like, if somebody was like 10 years younger than really? me. Really? Yeah, right now, because that would be really weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. So, like, if I was in a relationship where they had a crush on somebody 10 years younger than me. That'd be really weird. Twelve year old. That's but you got to remember, like, if you like, if a thirty three year old had a crush on you, that wouldn't be a huge deal. Yeah, but it's always it's the but no, it is it is big. I mean, that's no, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It's always I feel like older men go to younger women, and so if a younger if a older woman's going to younger man, that means there's nothing there. In my eyes, and then yeah, maybe that's just in your eyes, but that. In my eyes. I mean, there's options out there. You can. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, a wild move from McDaniels. And, I mean, it's clearly this guy deserves another job. Well, but Josh's another. protege is, is laying the foundation. Who, what do you, who's that? Bill Belichick. Oh, well, Bill Belichick. Patrick, we saw this ring camera. Mm-hmm. And you showed it to me. I was kind of confused. I needed context. It was and, wow. and, and it was, we don't know what exactly was happening. Well, we don't know if it's one of those situations where, you know, Bill's been over in Frankfurt, Germany for the week. He's going through the divorce. Maybe he has a yeah. friend over there. Uh, we don't know if this is maybe in, in New England. He needed a place, a couch to crash right. on. And that might, it might be as simple as that. He just needed a couch. Bingo. And so Bill Belichick was leaving his house shirtless, mm-hmm. going to a car there parked, you know, on the side of the Very road. Very adjacent. Yeah. And a lot of people are making some assumptions about it. Now, 
What I will say is this. Whoever leaked yeah, that ring one. camera, because obviously the only person who has access to the ring is, camera is that person. Is the person who he was there with. Or potentially someone that works at Ring. Or there's that. Yeah. Or potentially maybe like a family member who had access to the ring. Right. Like it could be like a grandson. It's a close, it's a close ring, circle. You know what I'm saying? But you got to think maybe. If, but somebody. Somebody yeah. there is probably a Jets fan and they probably didn't like what they were seeing. Or they wanted to get there. Maybe they're a huge Patriots fan. Yeah, and they they wanted like, to get them out. Like Bill Belichick was at like my grandmom's house. And maybe, maybe that's that. Maybe we're looking at it wrong. Maybe it was like a, a thing to show off. We're like, we love Bill even more. Could have been a workout trainer situation because he had the shirt off. Well, shirt off, sure. Yeah, he probably was just getting a workout in, or like, or like maybe like some like a like a chiropractor, like because the at home chiropractor, at home chiropractor, and he just maybe got a little bit a little tired, just had to sleep on the couch real quick. Well, we don't know what time of day it was, do we? Well, it appears that it was it was during the day. During the day, that's that's normal hours. To that's go. normal operator hours. Yeah. So so we it's yeah. There's nothing to read in there. And if I know anything about Bill, it's got to be an off day because he'd be in the office super early. Yeah, hundred percent. Or you know, I bet it was. I bet he was already in the office. He was. He slept in the office. That therefore the shirt was the shirt off. Was there? And then he was like realized like, hey, I gotta go pick up like these files or whatever mm-hmm. from work. You know, because maybe he's, a trip, still, maybe he's still a paper guy. Could, could have been got to go to Dunkin' too, and and, and so he just yeah. had to be like, oh, and he's running late because maybe he slept in a couple of minutes too late, and he had just really quick running, really up quick, and car. that's not. But he's trying to be quiet to the people that are still in the house; they're still sleeping, and that's yep, bingo, hundred percent bingo. I think we figured that out. Um, cool. Uh, we already talked about Gannon is clown, hundred <laughs> uh, percent. Um, so game of the week. Brought to you by PicksandPancakes.shop. If you guys enjoy the show and want to support, you can get some merch, some good stuff in mm-hmm. there. Um, Patrick's wearing a shirt right now. Boom. Boom. Um, game of the week, Patrick. This is this is the game that I think we got all eyes are going to be on. It's Saints yeah. versus Vikings. Now, Vikings came in with Joshua Dobbs, who didn't even know the playbook, and he just didn't know dominated. Players. Didn't know. Them now, that's like kind of the best because he has a pass on the player names. I'm bad with names, so yeah, right. But he has a week now, like he has to know the players by this. Well, week. at least he knows, like, you can crack a joke with them. Like, and if worse comes to worse, you just look at the back of the jersey. He needs to know the wide receivers' names that's 100%. But if you look at the back of the jersey and you're like, hey, Addison, and he'd be like, okay, cool. see so what he should have done is like when the week that he didn't know the nicknames and everybody understood or didn't know the names, and everybody like was like, hey, we know. You don't know the names. Yeah, it's like he should have fault. given them nicknames that were easy for him to remember. Right, and so then it's like, oh well, you know, he knows my name. He just calls me uh-huh. my nickname because remember the first week when uh-huh. he didn't know the names. Exactly. Now he remembers me, and we're, and we're tight. Exactly. So he's going to begin the start, and he's going to be going against a quarterback who has had a lot of time to know the playbook. Actually, mm-hmm. yes, just a, a really long time. Turns out, maybe still not operating. No. As well as maybe he should be, and that's and that's why you think they're finally going to throw it over to Taysom Hill this week. You know, one of the higher paid players on the team. You got to showcase him in the offense. Well, Saints fans are they're done with Derek Carr and they are ready to go to Taysom Hill, even though the two quarterback I, system. I, I just want to say this: I think they they've seen the Taysom Hill show before. Mm-hmm, they have. Like, Taysom Hill has gotten starts. He has. Yeah, but that wasn't his fault, Josh. That was <laughs> this is a different regime, a different era, right? And you bring in Jameis to kind of solidify that. That would be good, dude. Give Jameis a chance. That's all. I'm That's saying. all he needs. You want you fireworks? Don't think, you to think happen. Jameis would have lost worse? No. To he the Vikings? Have. He wouldn't have last week. Or sorry, no. no. Well, considering they, they play, play the Vikings this week, yes, right. that would have been. That I don't the think Raiders. he would have. No, no, yeah. it wasn't the Raiders. It was the Falcons. Falcons. Mm-hmm. Falcons suck, man. Yeah, but that was a defense problem. That wasn't Heineken's Bingo. problem. Bingo. So, Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I'm telling you what, man. I I believe in the Saints. Not. I don't actually. That was a lie. I believe in the, yeah, I, I, the Vikings are going to steamroll them. Yeah, no, I think I'm, I'm going with the Saints. I think Taysom Hill has two touchdowns this week. No. No, I'm, I'm a Josh Dobbs stand for the rest of maybe life. Well, let's now play that, off of Jason Now that he's not in Arizona, he's in He doesn't have clowns on well, the back. Well, he's on a team that I could care less about. And I probably will never, the Ravens will never play. So I'm, we're mm-hmm. fine. It's true. Yeah, so we're going to be all right there. Well, because last time the Ravens played the Vikings, wait, how can you forget it was the Le'Veon Bell game? Raven for life scored a touchdown two years ago. Mm. Couldn't forget it. I couldn't forget. No, I didn't no. forget that. Yeah, no, of didn't. course not. Um, cool. George Ole Miss game. It's why we're here. We're live in Athens, Patrick. Mm-hmm. Um, my first, I think, introduction to SEC football here. Oh, 
I haven't really been introduced to the football side of things, but the SEC town. No, it's my first introduction to SEC. Yeah, football. well, you just it hasn't happened yet. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. this yeah. is the game. Yeah, this, this is, my is the first game. introduction. Well, and you brought the AFC North weather down here, which is good. Well, then that, that's what we're used to. So like you bring the AFC North cold, rainy game weather mm-hmm. for the, the game. It's, I you think brought, it's gonna you be brought exciting. the home conditions down here. Exactly. And it's almost like I'm getting whole field home field advantage as a fan. Which is which is good. So that means so as, I'm going to be cheering as I a think fan. You should be the most comfortable. Yeah, like I'm comfortable mm-hmm. stepping into the weather. Like, you know, it's like you get traded teams, but but the a lot of the verbiage might be you, still. And, and you're comfortable with the surroundings. We're taking you by the stadium, you, and you understand that now. So you get the weather to really impact you because yeah. that's what the SEC fans aren't used to. That and way. I don't have to park, and that's the biggest thing for me is I can yeah. walk there because it just appears like there's zero parking here. Yeah. On, on the campus, mm-hmm. for I mean, for a ninety thousand, you know, ninety capacity 000, stadium, ninety three, feels like they maybe should have put more parking in, but that's not neither well, here nor there. Well, they couldn't have thought that back in like the the early nineteen hundreds. No, they couldn't. Have, they never envisioned and cars being as popular as they right. are. Exactly. I mean, they they arguably still might have been on the trains and the horses. To Patrick, who's our quarterback? Oh, it's Carson Beck. Carson Beck is he good? Yeah, he's pretty good. He's 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 uh he's a very dark horse for the Heisman. What? Yeah. He's a dark horse for the high Dark right horse, now? yeah. But they, he hasn't played anybody yet. Well, well, they played Mizzou last week, and he was decent. I mean, Mizzou is not. I think Mizzou is better than Ole Miss. Okay, well, we'll see. And I just need Ole Miss to to not win because then I then I will feel responsible. You considering you never solely be responsible. Yeah, and that's going to be all me. Not <laughs> no, <laughs> and I'm not ready. Like, there's not enough right hands that you could put up in that situation. Well, I'm not sure what I could do other than it. Because, listen, I'm in the AFC North conditions. I want to be cheering the best that I can. Best you can, yeah. And I'm, I'm going to learn. Yeah, but you keep – every time you talk about the stadium, you say it's only 90,000. And, and those other – it's 93,000. So, those other 3,000 fans could have a huge impact. And you're cutting them short. Okay, that's, and that's that's on me. Yeah. Ole Miss, though, are they good? I mean, what are they good? I mean, Ole Miss number nine in the country. Only losses to Alabama. So, they, I mean, they could come in now. Alabama, I mean, they – we they know. might have a backdoor college playoff. Birth. I mean, I, I'm saying the front door. I would argue the garage door is open. And <laughs> <laughs> so that's, I mean, so I, I don't, yeah, this Ole Miss team, I think they might. So you're saying the Mizzou is better than? I think Mizzou is better than Ole Miss. Okay, well. So agreed, it doesn't mean they can't to lose disagree, it. even though clearly I've been following college football really tight this year. Really. Well, and you know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. So. And Brock Bowers, friend of the show. That's why. Is he? Might, <laughs> get him on. <laughs> might, might be uh we can get them on. Uh, uh, yeah, we could make a couple strings. Yeah, a couple. Okay, then do it, Patrick. What do we? If I, I don't, I don't think I can. That's a tough one. To you play. said you just said we can move a couple strings. Did we do I, those strings yet? So we can try. Uh, well, we, we can always try. We'd have to go through another guy to then get to him. Um, I mean that's and that's sometimes that's what you got to do. We haven't quite built up the rapport enough with the other guy. Well, I mean that feels like we've had a couple weeks to maybe start getting that going. I mean, I mean we're trying, but you can't force anything. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes. Um. Okay, so what's gonna be exciting game? I'm I'm taking Ole Miss to win by whatever the spread. I mean, sorry, no. So Wait, what? Georgia, what? Sorry, <laughs> what? I'm taking Georgia to win whatever the spread is. That's ten and a half. Ten and a half. Georgia wins by eleven. Uh, okay, that's. <laughs> I, I did not realize it was that many points. Uh, but I'm gonna stick by that Georgia wins. He's gonna stick by, by eleven it. points there. Um, okay, Josh and Pat updates. Patrick, anything happening? In your life, yeah, I mean, big day. Gotta, I mean, big day, big sports weekend here in Athens. That, that will be on the boots are on the ground, Josh. Dude, I'm I'm pumped. I, and McAfee's here, college game base here. I'm here, which I think is actually more surprising than the other two. Um, Way more surprising. <laughs> so, like, that's that's a big, especially thing. when you miss a flight, and that's well, we don't we don't have to say yeah. that. I that was it was at least. And I'd argue that was your update. Sixty percent on me. I missed the flight. Sixty percent. Forty percent. I mean, how's I supposed to predict everything that I mean with the parking lot shut down and then right. how's I so, and I the mean, wrong navigation and the wrong navigation? Yeah. I wasn't. I didn't make that. Apple Maps did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could have went to Waze, and that's what some. Well, like, I no, I'm not a Waze guy. I'm not a Waze guy. No, no, I'm Apple, Maps, Apple Maps. Everyone knows yeah. Apple Maps is the best one. So yeah, I did. I mean, it was, but I got here arguably like at a better time. Better time because it gave time. me time to get breakfast mm-hmm. at the. At the airport, mm-hmm. chicken gave, minis. Yeah, it gave me time. To, yeah, so I got and like I got a little snack before the flight. Mm-hmm. I got it was just it was good. It worked out. It well. worked out. I thought well in my favor, and so we got here um, last night. Made your friends. Hey, they're 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 crew. They're fun. I mean, they're I mean, they definitely we got some characters on there. Yeah, and like I but I love I love characters. I think that's mm-hmm. I think it's the best thing. So 
Yeah, it's a fun time. We're going to have a great weekend in Athens. Big time. Big time sports weekend. Big time for the show. Uh, we'll be covering it, tw- tweeting it, you know, the ground. posting some stuff out there. So make sure you guys follow along. But that's the show. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe. That I can't emphasize that enough. But if you're still watching this, you're not new here. We just know that. Mario, Thank what's you. up? What's up? Uh, <laughs> and, uh, Baby J. <laughs> Baby J. Uh, make sure you guys go to picksandpancakes.com to read everything happening in sports. Um, and also go to picksandpancakes.shop to, uh, t- to get some sweet merch. Support our Patreon. And we'll see you guys on Monday for another episode of Josh and Pat. Peace.